Hello fellow viewers, this is Game For Us. In today's mobile tutorial video, we are going to be doing a special thing. So basically, have you ever seen frame rate counters in your PCs? Like let's say if you install um, MSI Afterburner with Rivatuner, um, and you see like the frame rate counter, the FPS, and it shows everything on your game on PC. Well, there's actually a solution um, for people that are, you know, that wants to, you know, have a frame rate counter in their Android phones. And that app is called GL Tools. Now, what GL Tools is, is basically a special tool in which you can um, add frame rate counters. You can basically modify the GPU of the game. So basically, let's say if you have, um, what they call it, if you have Asphalt 8, for example, now, if you want to modify its graphics, settings, RAM, CPU settings, this is all up on you. You can literally add a frame rate counter and everything else. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install it and how it works. So let's get started. Before I start this tutorial, I'm just going to say thank you guys so much for giving me over 50 subscribers. Right now, we are on 58 subscribers, and I just can't believe this is actually true. Um, I just didn't know that I would actually reach this, you know, milestone. I know I had a very small milestone, but this is just extraordinary. So, um, before we start this installation of GL Tools, you can see that, um, you see the 10 FPS right there? Well, that's basically the frame rate counter. Um, as you can see, the game froze unexpectedly. But as you can see, on your top right, you can see a 10. And that basically means that my game currently was running at 10 FPS before it crashed. So yeah, that's just a quick little thing. Or a up. Oh, there it is. Alrighty, so let's get started. Now... Why do people really need to have a frame rate counter in their Android mobile games? Well, for starters, if people usually use their frame rate counters for benchmarking. So if you're that one Android user that likes to benchmark their games, well, that's basically it for you. Another reason is that if you're like a mobile esports player and you just want to know how fast your mobile device runs, well, that's, that's basically it it and another reason is that if you're like a phone enthusiast and you want to see how fast this flagship phone or how it actually ran this is basically it for you so basically the frame rate counter is really essential if you want to know how fast the games run because i know that it's somewhere in this world somebody's just always wondering how fast do my games run so the first thing you need to do is to install gl tools now where gl tools is at oh, i got a bunch of stuff what GL Tools is at is right here. So as you can see, GL Tools is installed. Um, before you start using GL Tools, you you do know how you do have to pay, but I'm using a paid version. So uh, yeah, so um, right now there are some stores online where you can literally just get the paid version for free as an APK and everything like that. Um, there are three options in order to install GL tools. You can install us using the original install, which is not recommended because it will not work. And the reason it might not work is because of your um, your phone's read write um, access. Um, for some reason, my Android mobile phone cannot write the executable; it can only read. So um, you can only install using your recovery. So if you have a Twerp, CWM, or other um, custom recovery so you can use that or you can use magisk which is highly recommended if you have a rooted phone before we start doing that you first have to go straight to gl tools app info you have to go on permissions you have to make sure that storage is enabled if the storage permission is not enabled it will not um, function so as we go back to gl tools you can confirm and you i will allow not to link whatever blah 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 so what it's going to do install using magisk systemless so i'm going to press that because i have magisk i don't have to use my recovery because it just takes a long process and stuff like that so if we go down if i go as a cr archiver right now go down here 
as you can see install geotools.matches.zip and uninstall geotools.zip um it actually shows you so all you need to do is just go straight into your file explorer um i think that your mobile phone file explorer may not work so you have to install zarchiver for it to work or you can install win rar or anything like that um so it can show you install geotools.matches.zip um, all you need to do is to go straight into your matches manager all right as soon as you go straight into your matches manager all you need to do is go straight to modules right and then all you need to do is press the plus bar you're not done yet all you need to do now is to go straight and go to CR Chiver or any other file explorer you have and press this so I'll, so what it does is that it copies it to the directory and everything and you're all set to go now um it does you have to reboot um it's just great so basically magic if you guys don't know what magic manager is it's basically a simple um manager tool it's like let's say um what they call exposed but it's just a bit better because they usually update like frequently and not only that it's systemless it's fast it's good and it's just kind of better than the recovery i'm not gonna lie it's better than twerp recovery because you don't have to go online and actually search for you know the required file so all you need to do now is to restart and you should be good to go so let's get let's get that done so since we have rebooted our phone now it's now time to go to geo tools but before we go into geo tools we have to make sure that um, um, the geo tools and magisk or the module has been installed so all we need to do now is to go straight into magisk manager okay and then you go straight to modules as you can see geo tools 4.01 a custom open geo es driver has been installed and that means that now you have the capability to literally modify your your game um your game's graphics it's, it's just one of those tools that um, since your games can't um, does it let you have the option to like modify the graphics like put in high settings and everything this is basically the only app or the best app I ever had that can literally just change your phone's graphics whatever you like um the thing I like about GL tools is emulation what I mean by emulation is that it can emulate other phone GPUs like let's say um an adrenal 630 which is a high-end um gpu from snapdragon or from qualcomm snapdragon um right now i'm using um an adrenal 308 which is a very low-end gpu for basic phones while 630s are for flagships now what i've learned from this is that it's just so outstanding like i can't believe it but you can actually if you go down here you can actually um press use a template and as you can see you can see all these gpu options molly you have adrenal you have g6 430 you have stx and you even have tegra and it's just crazy um so the first game i am going to test um is basically hill climb racing too because you know it's just kind of a cool game um but before i show you this i'm going to show you that this game doesn't have the frame rate counter so let me show you so in this game right now you don't see a framework counter in the top left or top right that means that the geo tools if the geo tools is actually working but the thing is that i have it enabled the custom settings for it and um in order to do so all we need to do is sophie is just go down here all we need to do is go back go, go straight back to geo tools we go and find our game so it's basically hill climb racing so all we need to do is just go to the age category Let's we go straight to the age category did i miss it there we go hill climb racing 2 so as you can see it says enable custom settings for this app always leave this checked if you don't leave it checked there will be no modifications in the game whatsoever um we can allow anti -al aliasing i don't know what they call it i forgot anti aliasing so it could be it could be msaa or csaa um if you have a tegra you can enable csaa but if you don't you have to choose msaa csaa is only optimized for tegra gpu so if you if you have a phone 
I don't know if there's actually any phones that actually support Tegra. All I know is that the shields do, but maybe if you have a, maybe an M NVIDIA phone or tablet, I don't know. And it has Tegra, well, this is the thing for you, for CSAA. Um, but we're not going to enable that because all we need to do is enable the frame rate counter. But I will give you a detailed explanation with this um, app. So allow frame buffer, it can only cause glitches. Now, if you want to enable lower resolution, right? You want to make it lower because your game is really, really bad. Um, it, it, it literally is really slow, like let's say 5 FPS. Well, you can actually lower the resolution by 0 0.5, 0 0.25, or you could just customize it. Um, you can optimize GLSL shaders. So what this means is that it'll optimize the, um, the GPU to run the game a little bit more efficiently and it kind it kind of increased the performance of the game so you can leave this checked as well uh for 16-bit rendering so basically if you want to you know make it i don't know if you want to make it quicker i think this is the thing but it's not very useful all right there we go so we have fps counter now you have three options so you can um enable as a log cat on screen or on screen with graph i choose on screen and you could choose the location you could choose top left top right bottom left bottom right you can also try and change the milliseconds the fps update delay i'll leave it 250 default because i mean if you change it to like one it's, it's gonna be impossible because it's just gonna keep on you know changing 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 over time like really quickly we don't want that Fake GPU info is one of my best ones. All you need to do is just check it. And then you have to press use a template so you can choose your fake GPU. This is basically the best if you want to make your game look better or you want to make it, you know, like more, not make it ugly, but make it, you know, more performance if you want to gain more performance. Now, the thing is, I did not know that this actually had used fake CPU and RAM info. So if you have a four core CPU and you want the game to utilize like all of it, you can choose um eight cpus i don't know i don't i think it might not work but if you have an eight core cpu and you want it to you want the game to only use four cores all you do is just press four cpus it's like the best thing if you have eight gigs of ram in your phone which many people kind of have but not many people have haven't um basically you can choose four gig if you want your your um your game to run four gig but we're not all on this because all of this is just crazy. And if you want to know for yourself, all of this is, you know, on you. Um, but we're not into this right now because all we need to see is the FPS counter. So uh, let me just go straight to Hill Climb Racing. Uh, let me just force stop it because, you know, you got to force stop in order for it to work sometimes. Um, so we just go back. If this does not work for you, all you need to do is go straight into um what they call it, into your phone storage. You have to make sure that the um the storage permission is enabled. Without it, you cannot make any modifications either. Which, if this doesn't work, then I I probably have to try a different game because, you know, many games. There we go. So as you can see right now, you see those numbers. As you can see, my game is running at 60 right now. Well, I mean, it's the menu screen, but just look at it. It's just amazing. This is just amazing. I know this has been a long tutorial. I know it's hurting you guys, but I'm just trying to show you a detailed explanation because I love to talk about, you know, details, you know, in the app and stuff. Now, GL Tools is one of my favorite apps. I wish I could like, you know, donate to the creator um, because, you know, the creator is pretty good. Um, I mean, I just didn't know that actually someone would do it. This is basically the best alternative if you don't want to, you know, um, use your computer and, you know, try to put, you know, the FPS, you know, all this other, you know, cool. It's just no. And wow, an update. That sucks. But yeah, and this concludes our video. So if you guys like this video, all you need to do is just leave us a thumbs up. If you guys dislike it, you could dislike it. Just put down suggestions below of what you need, and I would just create greatly accept it. I always heart my comments. I reply to my comments quickly. Um, if you guys want to check out my Discord, the link will be down in the description. Um, also the link will be down in the description. Oh god, the storage. Um, I gotta end this quickly. 
and yeah if you guys want to donate you know want to help me out here you can it's it's all up to you everything is all up to you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye everybody and have a great day